You know this or not, but you will now. Today is Dick Groat Day here in Pittsburgh. He spent time in the NBA and as a member of the Pirates. Bob Allen has a look at his legacy here in Pittsburgh, knew it for. Whereas it has been said that Dick Groat is perhaps the greatest athlete to come out of Pittsburgh. Councilman Corey O'Connor made it official. Today is Dick Groat Day in the city of Pittsburgh. First of all, I'm, I'm impressed and obviously certainly pleased. It's a, quite an honor. Groat, now 87, is a living legend who excelled in college basketball and Major League Baseball. After graduating from Swissville High School, he was a two-time All-American at Duke University. He played one year in the NBA before joining the Pirates in 1952 and spent 17 years in the Major Leagues with four teams. Pirate broadcaster Steve Blass remembers his former teammate. He could play basketball at the highest level and baseball at the highest level. Um, the respect is enormous for somebody that can do that. It's happened very, very rarely. But whether it was basketball or baseball, his heart was always in Pittsburgh. The people have not changed. They're still the greatest people in the world. I know how I felt the winner Joe Brown traded me to the St. Louis Cardinals. That's the biggest hurt I think I've ever experienced in sports. During his 17-year career in baseball, Dick Grode was an MVP in 1960 when the Pirates won the World Series. He was a four-time All-Star and won another World Series title with the St. Louis Cardinals. Years later, Dick Grode is still involved in sports as the color commentator on Pitt basketball radio broadcast with Bill Hillgrove. Obviously, when we won the Big East, and I love broadcasting basketball, I love the game itself. Bob Allen, KDKA, TV News.